good afternoon students here this is the topic human circulatory system and this is for the class uh, 10th and in this topic uh, they will be learning how the human circulatory system uh, is working and uh, what type of parts it is comprising children this chapter is dealing from the same that is the life processes chapter and you have to continue from the same portion where we ended so here we begin you can see children you can see from here you can see that this is the human circulatory system you can see here this is human circulatory system you can see that this is comprising heart and this is comprising the blood vessels the red one are the arteries and the blue color ones are veins and there are the more thinner ones also which are called as capillaries so let us start children so you can see here that the human circulatory system the various organs the various organs in humans or in the other animals they all are helping to transport the blood to various body parts means the various organs the various organs which are helping the animals or others to transport the blood to other body parts these all parts are the components of human or the circulatory system so these organs comprises what does it mean that these organs comprises these organs contain heart arteries veins capillaries etc so what you can say is the various organs in humans and other animals which transport which transport blood to all the parts they are uh, referred to be completed completely they are referred to be as human circulatory system okay children so now let us see the other slide what does it says it says that the blood blood which is also called as connective tissue blood is also called as connective tissue and this blood is present all over the parts of our body it is present all over the parts of our body and blood is containing two components two major parts two major parts two major components it is containing the first one is the liquid portion that is the fluid portion what is fluid fluid means which can flow easily which can flow okay so either the gas or the liquid they can flow very easily so here in this case we have a liquid which can flow that is plasma so here you can say that the plasma can flow very easily into our blood vessels and they can reach to various what we can say they can reach to various body tissues or the body cells then the second portion is blood cells what do we mean by blood cells blood cells means the various cells which are present in this fluid portion in this fluid portion whatever the various cells are there these cells can be rbcs these cells can be wbcs or these cells can be platelets so whatever these things are there so whatever these things are there they are referred to as blood cells okay children so the next is plasma the next topic is plasma so let us talk about plasma what is plasma see children we talked about that this is the fluid part of the blood that is the liquid part of the blood and its color is slightly yellow it is slightly yellow in color okay it is little yellowish in color as you can see this is this image is showing the various components of plasma here this yellowish portion is there this is called as plasma and this red color portion is there this is blood cells so and to total together it is forming the blood okay together it is forming the blood but if you talk about this yellow color portion yellow color portion is called as plasma okay so you may be understanding very easily and hope no problem is occurring you may pause the slide or you may pause the video to note down the things okay so next what are, what it is uh, containing see children the plasma is containing about 90% of water it is containing 90% of water you have seen that uh, the plasma is the fluid portion 
liquid portion so how it will be liquid when it will have water in it so water is making water is making plasma as a fluid then other things it may contain nutrients these nutrients you know these are the same nutrients which are obtained after the digestion and these can be proteins carbohydrates okay these can be proteins carbohydrates various minerals they can be even the fats also so all these things they are referred to be as nutrients and all they are carried by the plasma and when plasma reaches to other body parts it is making the nutrients available for those body parts means the body parts they get the nutrients they get the nutrients by the help of plasma by the help of plasma and even children whatever the plasma is there it is also containing hormones now what are hormones see hormones are biochemicals what are they biochemicals these biochemicals they help in proper functioning of our body so hormones are the biochemicals which help in proper functioning of our body human body or any animal body so next point is it also contains some type of the toxics some type of the toxics like urea and carbon dioxide urea and carbon dioxide you have studied that what is urea so i don't need to tell you again and carbon dioxide so whatever this carbon dioxide and urea is there sometimes it is also present in the plasma so this urea has to be filtered by the kidneys and this carbon dioxide has to be removed by the lungs okay hope you people are understanding and no confusion is coming in this portion you can say you can see that uh, whatever the fluid portion is there the plasma is there plasma is containing platelets okay it is also containing red blood cells even this portion will also contain uh, white blood cells also okay here you can see red portion due to red blood cells so why we are obtaining them separately we will obtain them separately when we will rotate the blood we will rotate the blood in these type of the in these type of the covets in these type of the test tubes when we will rotate the blood due to heaviness the blood cells will go down the blood cells will go down and the liquid portion that is the plasma will come up are you getting so hope you people are understanding then let us see the next see the next is blood cells next is blood cells so let us talk about the blood cells what are blood cells see the blood cells are the cellular portions which are present inside the plasma okay and these can be these blood cells can be red blood cells they can be white blood cells they can be platelets and they are present with the plasma means the liquid portion plus the cells they both together are forming the blood so the blood and the blood is containing the cells that is red blood cells white blood cells and platelets together and then it is forming the blood so what is blood blood is the combination of blood cells and plasma together when the blood cells and plasma together are there that is referred to as blood okay hope you people are understanding and the next is let us say types of blood cells what types of blood cells the first type of blood cell is erythrocytes that is red blood corpuscles we use we usually say rbcs and in common language we can say it red blood cells but in reality in scientific language it is called as red blood corpuscles so let us see the speciality of the red blood cells see these are the blood cells having disc shape which shape they have disc shape you have played a frisbee where you throw a frisbee disc and your friend catches see the shape of the rbc is looking like a disc okay it is looking like a disc inside this is hemoglobin inside this portion is hemoglobin okay and let us consider the second point also see they contain a red pigment they contain a red pigment which carries oxygen so this portion this portion contains 
oxygen means it catches the oxygen why oxygen is needed you know for the respiration the oxygen is needed so as to get the energy and now next one is the red blood cells are formed within the bone marrow means where these red blood cells are formed where these red blood cells are formed they are formed in the bone marrow are long bones are there long bones are there inside the bones inside the bones whatever the bone marrow is there there inside the bones where the bone marrow is there inside the bones the rbcs are formed what are formed rbcs are formed within the bone marrows okay hope you people are getting what i am saying next is whatever the rbcs are there they live for 120 days 120 days one rbc is going to live this rbc is going to live for 120 days the same rbc is going to live for 120 days okay so now let us see what uh, let us see that what number of the rbcs can be there how many rbcs can be there in a human see a human can contain an adult healthy human the person who is very healthy or the normal health also it will be considered so the person should have 5 to 5.5 million rbcs so rbc is the red blood corpuscles the red blood cells or the erythrocytes erythro means red erythro erythro means red erythro means red and sites means cells sites means cells so whatever the erythrocytes are there they are the red blood cells and their number should be they should be 5.5 million in a healthy human in a healthy human their number should be 5.5 million okay the rbcs the red blood cells they should be 5.5 5.5 million and 1 million is having 1 million is having 10 lakh so 10 lakh okay 1 million is having 10 lakh so 5.5 million you can consider you know this much of mathematics so you can understand very easily so now the next is children so this much is clear that 5.5 million rbcs are there erythrocytes also called as red blood cells or red blood corpuscles they are having disc shape they don't have nucleus you can see these cells they don't have nucleus inside them they don't have any nucleus okay now whatever these cells are there if they don't have nucleus they have large number of space large amount of space inside it here you can see large amount of space it is having and in this space in this space hemoglobin was present what was the function of hemoglobin the function of hemoglobin was to carry oxygen and rbc can live for 120 days and adult human is containing 5.5 million rbcs to be healthy to get proper amount of oxygen he should have 5 to 5.5 million rbcs okay so now the next topic we can see is leukocytes leuco leuco means white and sites you know here some wrong spelling is there you can correct it so you can say uh, leukocytes l e u c o c y t e s c y t e s will be there so c y t e s will be there so now you can say that leukocytes whatever the leukocytes leuco means white sites means cells so white blood corpuscles or white blood cells they do not have a proper shape means they have a irregular shape you can see it is not having proper spherical shape is it proper spherical shape it is having proper circular shape no not at all it is having very irregular shape you can see it is having irregular shape okay so hope you people are understanding it is having very irregular shape and now based upon their nucleus means rbcs were not having any nucleus here wbcs have nucleus you can say very well wbcs white blood cells white blood corpuscles they have nucleus and based upon their nucleus based upon their nucleus they can be further divided into various other different types based upon their based upon their nucleus shape they can be divided into further other types so you can say based upon the nucleus they can be further divided into other types now these cells which cells leukocytes or white blood corpuscles these cells they fight from 
diseases or pathogens what are pathogens they can be bacteria viruses fungi etc and they fight from diseases that is why they live for a short duration they live for a short duration because they fight from diseases they they are fighting from disease causing pathogens that is why children they are also called as soldiers of our body they fight they fight from pathogens they fight from pathogens they fight from pathogens that is why they are called as soldiers of our body they are called as soldiers of our body so children these are formed in thymus thymus means in the thymus gland which is present in the neck and they are also formed in they are also made in bone marrow so based upon thymus they can be called as t cells and if the leukocyte or the white blood cells are formed in the bone marrow they can be called as b cells hope you people are understanding this okay now the next is platelets you can consider very well platelets see children in spite of the cells they are the cell fragments what are they cell fragments fragments means pieces fragments means pieces so if you know very well what is piece what is fragment you can understand it very well and there are some special cells mega karyocytes there are some special cells special cells they are called as mega karyocytes so from special cells mega karyocytes these platelets are made they are formed and again we can see that they are formed in the bone marrow they are formed in the bone marrow and they don't have nucleus what did you understood they don't have nucleus and they are formed in the bone marrow okay now next point let us see they help in clotting of the blood means they make the blood thick where they will make the blood thick where we will get the injury okay wherever we will be getting injury you can see here this person has got the injury so here the blood is coming out so if continuously this blood will come out the person will get the blood loss the person will get the blood loss so blood loss is not good for us na so what we will be doing what we will be getting we should we should stop our blood so nature the god has given us a great power that is platelets which will help in clotting the blood by forming a net like structure so here at this place a net like structure will be formed by the platelets and the blood will stop to bleed okay stop blood will stop bleeding okay blood will stop bleeding so now the normal number of the platelets the normal number of the platelets it should be how much 150000 to 350000 the normal number a healthy human should have at least 150000 or 350000 of the platelets you have seen that in the dengue patients that in the dengue patients the platelet amount gets very very less so it is not good it is not good it is harmful for us so what we can say that the platelets are very very important for clotting the blood and their number should be 150000 to 350000 they don't have any nucleus and they are formed in the bone marrow these are not cells these are cell fragments these are pieces of some cells which are formed from the mega karyocyte cells these are the special cells mega karyocyte cells okay now hope you people are safe at your home you may be washing your hands continuously for 20 seconds and for sneezing and coughing you may be using a handkerchief or a tissue if you are using a tissue please discard that tissue after the one time use and if you are using a hanky wash it properly avoid avoid touching your face continuously if you are touching the other things try to touch them with your left hand because from the right hand sometimes you are touching your face also so keep on keep on staying at your home keep on studying thank you